And good afternoon to you. I'm Kimberly Brown. Thanks so much for joining us for 7 News at Noon. President Trump in North Carolina ahead of the start of the Republican National Convention. We are bringing you team coverage of the presidential visit. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell is standing by. But first, we are going to head over to 7 News anchor Ben Hoover. And Ben, a lot has been happening ahead of today's visit. It absolutely has, Kim, and the president just touched down in Charlotte. From there, he will take Marine One here to Asheville Airport and then on to the town of Mills, uh, Mills River, where we are right now. And this is a farmer-owned facility behind here where we are checking in with security right now. The president will be coming to talk about a program that's funded by the Coronavirus Food Assistance Program. This facility partnered with Baptists on Mission to make boxes, food boxes, to go out to families in need during the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, normally this place would be pumping out produce to restaurants and wholesalers, but of course because of the pandemic that shut down a lot of restaurants. So what they did was they, they took a, a multiple uh, billions of dollars from the coronavirus relief bill and pumped it into this program that's uh, sponsored by the U.S. Agriculture Department. And the president will come here to tour the facility, take a look at how they make these food boxes and then ship them out to families in need. And while this may be a political event for the president, the executive director of Baptist on Mission tells me that he doesn't see it that way. It's a way to thank farmers and to thank uh, those church groups and other nonprofit groups who are distributing these boxes to people in need. And there are so many needs uh, because of COVID. Politically speaking, this is a crucial swing state, North Carolina here for the president. Uh, back in 2016, the president won this state, but uh, the polls right now in North Carolina show that it's a tight race uh, between Biden and Trump. Now the president, uh, we'll be speaking around 1.30. We'll, bring, we'll be bringing you that live coverage later today, and he will be joined by his daughter and advisor, Ivanka Trump, as, long, uh, as well as with the Agriculture Commissioner, Sonny Perdue. Again, they're going to tour the facility and then come outside and give some remarks. All of this, of course, on the first day of the Republican National Convention uh, happening in Charlotte. But after he wraps up here in the Carolinas, the president will be heading back to Washington. In fact, he is making a brief stop there in the upstate in Greer to do a flight changeover from Marine One to Air Force One before he heads back to the, nation, uh, the nation's capital. Uh, we'll be here with live coverage coming up throughout the day here on 7 News. But for now, we are reporting live in Mills River. Ben Hoover, back to you, Kim. Ben all over that visit and will bring us the latest as he mentioned. Now the president's visit is generating excitement among people all over the area. So we continue our team coverage now with 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell. And you've been talking to people in the area eagerly awaiting the president's arrival. That's right, Kimberly. People are excited for him to get here. This event isn't open to the public, but some people have come out just to try to get a glimpse of President Trump. Farmers and their families across the southeast have been invited to be part of this event today. They say that's an honor for them. Those farmers and even a few people from nearby towns have been hanging out at the brewery across the street from where President Trump will be delivering his remarks, and they're really making a day of it. I'm told some local people are also planning on watching the president arrive at the airport. This is a rural area. People I've spoken with say the president's pretty popular around here. Those farmers tell me business is suffering because of the pandemic. They say demand has fallen from restaurants and they're having to spend more to keep their workers safe and keep our food supply safe. They tell me they're grateful to be a part of this food box program and grateful to be here to hear the president speak today. It's, it's a good feeling to know that, that the American farmers even considered by the White House, you know, worthy of, of, of the president's time. And we'll be sure to let you know what farmers have to say after the president's speech as well. So continue watching. We'll have coverage later this evening. Live in Mills River in Maxwell 7 News. Thanks, Ann. Team coverage of the president's visit will definitely bring you updates. Now, the 2020 Republican National Convention set to go underway today in Charlotte and in Washington, D.C., honoring the great American story. That's the theme of the GOP convention. Well, yesterday, the Trump campaign released a lineup of convention speakers. Former South Carolina governor and U.N. Ambassador Nikki Haley will speak tonight. President Trump will deliver his acceptance speech from the White House on Thursday. We are